I guess I would describe myself as a creative. Uh, I, I especially do a lot of writing, so a creative and more especially a writer. Um, I recently finished graduate school. I focused on international economics and international relations, uh, looking mainly at African development issues um, at Johns Hopkins University sites. So I just came home to Ghana less than five days ago. And I think I'm someone who's really passionate about development issues, African issues, youth, entrepreneurship, and I'm, I'm pretty active on the social media sphere. Um, I have a blog which is called circumspect.com, that's with an E at the end of circumspect, and I've been blogging for over five years. Um, I also do a lot of creative writing, so I guess that's, that's a little bit about that. I would define it as a weak hope because really that's what it is. You're taking different thoughts, different ideas, different words, different phrases, different emotions, different situations, and you're kind of just trying to put all of that together and to come up with a final layout, or a final painting or plot. So for me, a lot of the time, it really does feel like I'm leaving. I'm taking strands of this and that and I'm putting it together and hopefully, um, someone out there will understand or it will resonate with somebody. So that's what creative writing um, means to me. Hmm. I, don't, I don't think I can say I became a creative writer. I think I've always just been a creative writer, but I just developed that skill over, over time. Um, as to where it all started, I can't pinpoint the exact moment. I've been writing since I was what, a teenager, or even earlier than that. Um, initially, it just started with writing journal entries, or trying to write journal entries, but I never kept an effective journal because I didn't write every single day. Uh, and I would write my thoughts, I would write poems. Uh, at one point, I, I, I was the songwriter in Wesley Girls High School. I would take um, a tune and come up with lyrics to fit an occasion. So I've always just been writing. So I was a bookworm first, and then um, it was it, it, my desire to write came from not seeing stories or um, books that I really resonated with. I mean, we used to read Sweet Valley High. We used to read um, The Babysitters Club. I never even knew what a, a banana sundae was until 2010 when I actually had one, but you know, that's the kind of language you use. And so writing in my own voice was very important to, to feel like me, you know, and, and it, helped, it really did help me come into who I am. So I wouldn't say it's something I became, it's just something I've always been that I just discovered along the way. Those are actually two of my favorite words, and what they mean to me as a writer, I think they mean everything to me as a writer. Uh, I, for me, writing has to be an exciting experience. Um, it's, it's the opportunity to literally create something, and in that creation, there should be some novelty of some sort. I don't believe in reinventing the wheel every single time, so for me, it always has to be, there has to be something else besides just the normal, the norm. I do not believe that writing should be boring, or reading, I don't believe reading should be boring either. So for me, creativity and innovation are hallmarks of what I do, and without that, I think writing would, would be less fun for me, or less, less of a passion of mine, so I love them, definitely.